Hi, David Alec Knight here, author of Leper Mosh. It's my second book, my first from Cajun Mud Press, and I'm going to read a few pieces, give you a taste of what the book's like. Uh, this first one's called Under Domineering Blue. It was a still summer night when the pickup screeched and lurched in its halt alongside the pumps. There were a bunch of guys in the cab. One jumped out of the passenger side. He wore a metal church t-shirt. One of the back wore a Queensryche shirt from the Empire Tour. Hey guys, what's up? What's down? What's right? What's left? said Middle Church. Another face without a name and another friend vaguely. The Reich was hella last week. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty neat. The other guys, having left the pickup, tossed a frisbee around in the back empty of the lot. They had a ghetto blaster blaring a cassette to Queensryche's Operation Mind Crime. It gave resonant bass that cut the hanging air. At the same time, the latest song from Empire blared on the radio in the kiosk, Jet City Woman. I got a couple export A's down from the shelf. Happy Green Death to me, said Middle Church. Green Death, what we called export A's back then. So there you go, two packs. I took his money, put it in the till, made change. Jeez, man, you never afraid of getting robbed? Next to nothing to rob, I make cash drops often in the floor safe, and I have a harsh piece of pipe. I pointed at a piece of pipe, almost arm length. It leaned within reach against the kiosk wall. One shift that summer, I had the idea to take some dark red paint and brush a little bit of hint around the thread at the end of the pipe. No shit, man, that could do some hella damage. The frisbee flew in the passenger window, which was down and out the driver's side window, an unerring trajectory to the back of his head. The hell? His friends were jogging back to the pickup. Overwhelmed by under the influence laughter, they lost balance and stumbled along the way. One of them dropped the ghetto blaster twice. That thing kept playing without interruption. Metal Church picked up the frisbee and rubbed his head, trying to be mad without laughing. Well, I gotta get these Looney Tunes home. We're on morning shift tomorrow, you know, eh? Sorry to hear that, man. I think it'd be short. Sure enough, as I walked home after shift, with the light grays of the sky fading under domineering blue, I saw that same pickup with Middle Church alone driving to work. And the last one I will read is called Deconstruction. Every wall of brick looks like every wall of brick, and within walls of brick and mortar and concrete and steel, you watch television without watching, tired from six-day weeks, eight-and-a-half-hour shifts, an hour's transit there and back, ever fearful that you'll be let go before your 30 days are through, no matter how hard you work anyway. Every wall of brick looks like every wall of brick, and within walls of brick and mortar and concrete and steel, you feel like something's dying, and that dying thing does not reflect on the past while you sabotage your present without a hope of a shared future. Every wall of brick looks like every wall of brick, and within walls of brick and mortar and concrete and steel, not in madness, but in unkind cliché, you glare at her with a don't-make-me-sorry-I'm-sorry sorry look in your after-midnight eyes. Thank you. That's uh, from Leper Mosh, published by Cajun Mutt Press. Give it a chance.